So guys, today we are going to design a jukebox in object oriented manner. And let's first thing, what are the objects that can be associated with this scenario? First of all, the thing that comes in our mind is jukebox itself. Okay, jukebox. And let's think of what are the properties that makes a jukebox. When we were a child, let's think what could we do with jukebox. It would play CDs and some jukebox also had the options, option to play, play radio. And as this jukebox has two modes, jukebox is going to have these two classes as properties. And we are also going to set a variable called mode, which will be a enum and it is going to have either this CD or radio value in it and it will decide which is active right now. If CD is active then CD num will be placed and if radio is active then radio will be placed on. Now let's explore the CD side of it. Now let's consider CD. What makes a CD? For me it might be different in your perception but for me CD it might have a name like based of Green Day something like that and it might have a album art album art and it also might have the index of current song playing current song index okay and the thing that makes a CD is a list of songs CD will have songs in it there will be a list of it there, there are lots of songs in a CD and now let's go inside the song itself. Now song is going to have a title, the artist name and the length of track. Hope it makes sense. Now we have constructed the CD side of it, but we also need to consider the methods that can be invoked on CD and songs. We'll look on to the methods of jukebox after a while, but let's, th let's think of the things that can be changed on a song. When a song is constructed, the values for this title, artist and length will be set. And we don't need to change anything afterwards. That's why we are all only going to get, only going to make getters of all these fields title, artist and length. Now for the simplicity sake, let's make the CD have current song index and we are, uh, we are going to track the song by its index. Also when we construct the uh, CD, we are giving its name, album art and the current song will be zero at first and songs will be set and we don't need to change it afterwards. The only method that, that we are going to uh, make it do is play next, next song play next song which is going to increase this current song index and we'll know at which index we are playing the song of this CD. Now let's consider the radio side of it. What makes a radio? A radio will have a current station that is playing and it will also Let's make our jukebox also store the list of favorite stations which the user can select without without inputting the frequency of the radio. Now let's define the radio station. Radio station. What is it? Now this radio station can have a protocol such as AM or FM if you are familiar with it and it will also have the double of frequency frequency value will be put on side of it and this radio station will give the data of current station also this favorite station will have the list of radio station with fixed protocol and fixed frequency which the user can get afterwards now for the radio station the protocol and frequency can change as the user is using it is dynamic that's why we need to 
make getters and setters for both these fields and the radio also should be having all the getters for its fields also the setter for the setters for the scoring station and favorite station because we might need to change the favorite station add it or remove it and hope the picture is clear now the jukebox will have cd and radios onto it and let's see the code side of it so guys we are going to have a walkthrough of the code and let's see what we have made you can see that we are in the jukebox class and it has a CD, radio and mode inside of it. Mode is nothing but an enum which can either be CD or radio which will determine the mode which is currently active. If the radio is active or CD is active. And let's go inside the CD. And at first glance you can see that the CD's name and list of songs that it has and the string of uh, album art, album art URL and the current song index is the property of this CD class. And we are first going to go inside the depth of everything and we are going to come out of it and I will explain in the same way. Let's go inside the song. And a song has title, the artist name and the length of the song. It will be in seconds and you can easily convert it into minutes. And it has the constructor. And the play method uh, for this example uh, we are just going to system out it the print it in the console and the getters are placed and you can uh, did you notice that there are no setters for this and let's go back onto the cd plus and the cd has list of songs and it has also the constructor for other fields and we are initializing songs to be empty at first or we can populate it in the array list and the current song uh, at first is zero and the getters are placed and we are also go having the method to play next, next song which can be invoked by jukebox class and it is considering if the song is the last one if it is then there is no song on the CD is displayed on the console if not then the current song index is increased and song is played and it is returned back to the caller let's go back to the jukebox class and you can see that the CD, CD is also initialized in the constructor and we also have the method to change the mode to CD from CD to radio or from radio to CD and we also have the method to change the CD and play the CD by getting the songs and uh, playing the current song index and playing it. At first initial phase, uh, it will be zero. Gradually, it will be increased. And we are also allowing the jukebox to get next song and playing the next song. And let's go inside now, inside the radio side of it. And the radio has current radio station as radio station object. And list of radio station as discussed in the slide let's go inside the radio station and the radio station has radio frequency protocol and a double of frequency and radio frequency protocol is nothing but an enum of fm or am hope it makes sense it can either be fm or am depending on the context and it also has the parameter it also has the property of frequency and at first initial phase the frequency is zero set to zero and uh, the pr protocol is set to FM and we are also having the getters for the radio station protocol frequency and we are also having the setters for protocol and frequency let's go back to the radio class and this radio station class that we just saw uh, it determines the current station also it stores it also serves as the data structures to store the list of favorite stations and in the constructor we are passing a radio station and this will set it to that and we are also having the gators to get favorite station and current station variables and we also have the method to set favorite station which is going to add this radio station which is passed 
onto the array list and we are also allowed to change the frequency change the radio frequency protocol and also play the favorite radio station by the index that will be passed on by jukebox let's see the jukebox now now in the jukebox side of it we have covered the cd part now the radio station part if we are allowed to change the radio frequency by passing a frequency onto the field of radio and also change the protocol of the radio frequency by passing the protocol and we are also allowed to pass the index of the favorite radio station so that it can be placed played in instantaneously the github link is placed on the description section if you guys have any confusion then you can comment on the comment section thank you guys have a nice day